DJ, you were drafted in 2017 by the San Francisco 49ers. You spent five years playing in front of the faithful, but now Broncos country is your new home. What are you looking forward to as this next chapter of your career begins? Uh, winning and allowing the fans to enjoy it. Every game, uh, excitement. Well, you had a number of great offers on the table. So what influenced your decision to come here to Denver? Uh, the culture before myself, before Russ, before anybody that was brought in. Um, it's just a great culture here, family environment, and I'm happy to be here. From East Mississippi Community College to now the Denver Broncos, take us through your path to the NFL and some of the greatest lessons that you've learned along the way. Um, this, it was a great, great journey that I've been on. Um, tiring, tedious process, but uh, what I learned the most was um, patience is everything. Um, what God has for you, you can't be stopped. So um, I just kept my head down, kept working, and um, I'm here right now. What is your fondest memory from those East Mississippi college days? Man, I would say winning two national championships, um, never losing, to be honest, just dominating every time we played. Yeah, you were dominant, that's for sure. You were also dominant last year. You finished second in the league in run stops in 2021 with 39. And according to Next Gen Stats, you had the third highest run stuff rate by any interior defensive lineman since 2016. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. I mean, I feel like that describes your game in a nutshell, but right. maybe for those who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your game? Just physical. I like to take the aggression to my opponent before they can come to me with it. Um, just, I'd like to get rid of them as well. And I like to make plays wherever the ball is. Well, you have not been here for long, but you said that you've already had a chance to meet defensive coordinator Ijero Ivero. So what are your initial impressions of him and this defense that you're joining? He's ready to go just like I am. Yes. Um, we've got a long season ahead of us, and um, I think we're both prepared to, to take on everything that comes with it. Ivero, he said that you're going to line up across from the center mm -hmm. and the guards. Which do you prefer? I know it's a political answer, but wherever they want me to go, I will go. If they want me in a four hour, I'll go in a four hour. They want me over the center. It's, it is what it is, wherever they want DJ Jones to play. Well, you know what, that is very politically correct, but does one give you an advantage over the other? Most people say the center is the, the worst of the group on the off offensive line, but um, I, I believe playing over the center, you have an advantage over everybody. Um, you, you're over the ball, so. Uh, I think playing the zero is, is best. You know what, your mentality is going to fit in really well here in Denver. In general, what are some of the most challenging situations for your position that could arise on the field? And then on the other side of that, what are some situations that come up that you just you are licking your chops because you know you're about to eat? Uh, I believe um, as, a, as a defensive, an interior defensive lineman, right. we can never run away from contact. Okay. Um, that's every play. Um, I love contact, but um, just just being in, in there with, with, with offensive linemen and just knowing I have guys with me, um, attacking with me, is uh, it's a plus. Just whenever I put my hand in the dirt, yeah. as I'm licking my chops. Anytime I get to put my hand in the dirt, I'm, I'm ready to go. Broncos country, they already love you after that answer, I can tell you that much. You know, Russell Wilson, he was asked about you during his press conference and mm -hmm. he said that he had nightmares going up against you. Same. He doesn't just, um, and you can tell this by playing him, there's nothing I've heard from anybody, but he doesn't just study corners and safeties and linebackers. He knows everybody on the field. Um, he's uh, he's so in tune with his game and ours that um, that's what that's what makes him so dominant. And um, I'm just excited to watch him play um, and be his teammate. Yeah, it's going to be nice seeing him on the yeah. sidelines at this point. Yes, ma'am. Well, he is now one of four amazing quarterbacks here in the AFC West. Mm -hmm. What excites you about the level of competition in this division, and what makes you think that you can help this team finish the top of it this year? Uh, like myself, and I know a lot of my teammates, competition brings out the best in me. So knowing that I'm, I'll have to play some great quarterbacks twice a year, that'll bring out the best in me. So I can't wait to strap up and play them. It's very clear that football is your passion, but who is DJ Jones off the field, away from the facility? <clears throat> I'm chill, uh, musician. I like to I like to write a lot. Um, me and my wife we like to chill, um, watch movies, and just uh, just be who we are. Favorite movie? Ooh, oh. remember the Titans. 
classic. Remember the Titans. Yeah. Of course, of course. Sure. Okay, well, your father, Big Dave, he's in the back over there. Mm -hmm. He's the king of Texas-style barbecue, and he right. has the signature number 33, number 93 sauce, Correct. which I think he's going to have to change to number 97. That's right. I've learned that the proceeds from the sales of that sauce, they mm -hmm. go towards the DJ Jones Foundation. That's right. So tell us a little bit more about your foundation and who you hope to impact through that. Um, people in need. Um, where, however you want to take that, that's that's where we reach. Um, we're reaching to help people that that can't help themselves, um, the homeless, um, anywhere, homeless or everywhere, and uh, uh, a lindy hand is all they need. Well, Big Dave's Barbecue has rave reviews from the right. Dallas Cowboys, uh, the Carolina Panthers, even Ring of Fame Broncos head coach Dan Reeves. Yep. So is there any chance you can maybe talk your dad into bringing the food truck out for training camp this year? Because I'm hungry. It might already be happening. Is it happening? Yeah, man. He's a, he's a network. He's a network guru. So um, it's probably already in the works. Oh, I'd love to hear that. Yeah. Well, DJ, sure. thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to Denver. Thank you.